How's it going everyone? Ben here, your friendly neighborhood medical student and today we are going to be covering the trending news out right now about the successful phase one trial of one of the HIV vaccines. I actually first heard about this because a lot of people are sharing Instagram posts, sharing posts on Facebook and Twitter on its successfulness but a lot of these posts don't have a lot of information on what the results really are it's just very overtly optimistic and while i do think being optimistic is a good thing sometimes it gives a very very early solution before the solution is actually there and that's why i'm making this video i want to make sure that you all know the actuality of where we are with hiv vaccinations and the hiv vaccine in general and to know where we are heading now, before you say, Ben, you're about to burst my bubble. I was so excited for this. Uh, don't be dismayed. The, the, the results are actually very, very promising. It's just that I don't think enough people know that we are still a couple of years away from actually having the vaccine available that's effective instead of people just sharing and saying that, oh, the HIV vaccine is coming. It's coming like right now. So this particular vaccine trial that's been making headlines right now has kind of been in development for a number of years actually it started in 2018 so it's been about two to three years and it's been led by a group of researchers and research institutions that are working together um, to find a solution so one of the primary ways hiv actually infects your cells is that it has an envelope it's covered by a halo like membrane similar to coronavirus actually and hiv uses this envelope to attach to specific receptors in your body and these receptors are attached to a certain type of cell called cd4 helper t cells now these cd4 helper t cells are actually one of the primary ways our body fights in against infections so that's why when people progress to aids most people die from infections because their bodies can no longer fight an infection because HIV has overtaken all your really important CD4 helper T immune cells. Now the way this vaccine works is that it aims to elicit a response by another cell in your body that's a part of the immune system called naive B cells and B cells are what creates antibodies and antibodies is another way that our body fights infections so what the vaccine will do hypothetically is that it will trigger this naive b cell to produce a specific type of antibody called a broad neutralizing antibody now when the b cells make these broad neutralizing antibodies the antibodies go to the envelope of the hiv virus particle and neutralizes it, keeping it from attaching to your CD4 helper T cell, which is pretty revolutionary. If, if a vaccine can do that, that means we can stop the virus from actually even entering human cells, preventing anyone from having HIV. I'll get to it a little bit later on why this is a really good idea in theory, but not really applicable in practice because of the way HIV behaves. So the researchers recruited 48 HIV negative patients to undergo this phase one clinical trial and they either received the HIV vaccine or a placebo. The 48 patients were also grouped into two separate groups, either the high dose vaccine variant or the low dose vaccine variant and they were given two doses two months apart. Now even in that first statement that I've made, we already know that there's a limitation in the study. The sample size is incredibly small. Only 48 people were in the study. We don't even know the demographics as of yet of the people that were studied under and who received the vaccine. So we definitely need a much, much larger sample size in order to, to attribute it to a larger population. Now here's the really, really good news. 97% of the participants who received uh, the vaccine developed antibodies against HIV. This is, this is amazing, even for a small sample size like that, to get a number that high is a very, very promising. In addition, they also followed up patients for up to a year, seeing if they elicited any side effects. 
and virtually there were no severe side effects among any of the patients that were vaccinated. So what does this mean going forward in the study? Because this is pretty much everything that the study really discovered and found about the vaccine. Well, first of all, HIV loves to mutate. I mean, it's one of the fastest mutators out there and that's why it's been so hard to even find a vaccine to begin with and why it's so lethal. But HIV can really quickly change their receptors. It also has multiple receptors it uses to attach to your cells. So we will need to find more vaccines and more antibodies to target those receptors. However, this study has proven that we can make our own immune system create antibodies against HIV and that further vaccinations should be studied so that other receptors can be targeted as well. And once we get a, a robust line of vaccines that can target those specific unique receptors that HIV uses to target our cells, then we can actually eradicate HIV. So now the primary investigators of this specific vaccine is looking towards working with Moderna. Moderna, the company that designed one of the vaccines against coronavirus to create mRNA vaccines against HIV. And they've also said that they're looking at using the same technology to fight against other viruses and create new vaccinations for things like Zika, Dengue, and even Hepatitis C. Moderna is actually going to extend out this phase one clinical trial by creating their own version of this vaccine and then testing it out near the end of 2021. So we'll see where this goes. I also really wanna emphasize that this vaccine is not a cure for HIV. Individuals who have HIV already will not benefit from this vaccine. This is mostly to protect anyone who hasn't gotten HIV and to keep them from ever contacting HIV in the future. So we are still a long ways off when it comes to actually establishing a vaccine that will work towards the masses, but this is very promising. Hopefully in the next decade, or even less than that, we will have a robust system of HIV vaccines that keep future people from contacting the HIV virus. And I hope research to find the cure to HIV still keeps going because we still have hundreds of thousands of people in the world with HIV, living with HIV, who will not benefit from a vaccine because they need to find a cure. Anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you got something out of it. I hope you learned something. I hope you will share it with someone who may benefit from this information. Thank you all for tuning in. Please follow me on Instagram and Twitter to keep up with my daily life and my activism. And I'll see you on the next video. This is Ben.